Five large breeds for apartments or small spaces It's not common to think large dog breeds can be great for apartment life. One can associate a large dog with the need for more space to perform an exercise or move around. From just watching videos and comments online, Doglaw found out there are some large breeds that do well in an enclosed area. If you're interested, stay tuned until the end. Number 5. English Mastiff Believe it or not, this massive canine can be an ideal condo or apartment companion. Puppies are active, of course, but as they mature, they tend to slow down to a stately pace. English Mastiffs are one of the heaviest breeds around. They require adequate space, exercise, and have a huge appetite. They kick off this list because they're one of the calmest breeds around and do well even without a backyard to run around in. One thing that makes Mastiffs stand out as great apartment dogs is that they barely bark. However, they tend to defend their territory and their family. But they need to be socialized so they don't become reserved with strangers. If you exercise them enough and take them out at least once a day, they'll be relaxed both mentally and physically, resulting in a very easygoing indoor breed that'll remain inactive and lazy around the flat. Number 4. Great Dane According to writer Susan Orlean, they were bred basically to sit next to a king's throne and look big and intimidating. They're very mellow dogs. These gentle giants are excellent family dogs that are characterized by being loyal, friendly, sympathetic and affectionate, as well as playful and patient with children. Different from other smaller breeds, Great Danes do not tend to bark that much. They don't need a large yard to run around in as long as the family is willing to give them plenty of exercise in a nearby park or a walk in the street. You should be aware of the movement of their tail. It's capable of knocking down anything you have on your regular coffee table if it gets too happy and starts wagging it. Just arrange and decorate your apartment the right way for them and avoid leaving anything valuable on a coffee table. Number 3. Standard Poodle Poodles are considered one of the most intelligent and easy to train and housebreak dog breeds and can be an elegant addition to your flat. Despite their reputation as city dogs, the Poodle is an old hunting breed and is the most active of the dogs on this list. If you learn how to control your dog's barking and are the kind of person who will walk your dog enough to keep them and you tired, Poodles can make a great apartment dog. They need a lot of exercise. If you work away from home, give them a long walk in the morning before you head off to work and make sure they have a midday break with you or a dog walker and then take them out on the town when you get home. They need to have some kind of regular mental stimulation. This can be accomplished through agility classes or advanced obedience training. Opposite cases where they are subject to little attention and activity end up in the poodle being bored and it can be restless and destructive. But with proper exercise, they're calm and relatively inactive indoors and will be happy relaxing and sleeping in your apartment. Number 2. Greyhound The fact that this breed has one of the top spots on both this list and the fastest dog breeds in the world comes as a bit of a shock for the audience. Even if they can reach 72 km per hour, they don't want to spend their entire time running. They're not the Flash. When they're not sprinting outside, they can be spending lots of time sleeping on the couch. Their legs are long but thin enough that they won't take up that much room. Their slender bodies weigh from 25 to 40 kg and stand 66 to 76 cm to the withers. A huge plus is that their coat is short and easy to keep clean. If you're willing to provide this fast dog with exercise every day, he or she will stay happy on the couch for the rest of the time. They should have one hour of daily physical and mental stimulation. They enjoy performing these activities simultaneously and can be accomplished by teaching them tricks and running through a track if you have a park nearby. You should take them to sprint from two to three times a week. If you do this, you'll have an athlete on the street but a lazy roommate on the sofa and the bed. Number 1. Afghan Hound the Afghan Hound is a large breed that may look distant and aloof, but it's loving, sensitive and loyal with a laid-back personality. Like the Greyhound, Afghans are sighthounds and would also spend a lot of time just hanging out on the couch. They can be high-maintenance dogs, which is not surprising by their first impression. They require grooming and brushing carefully at least twice a week. Generally, though, they're peaceful dogs with low levels of dominance. They're good with big children who know how to treat dogs and are also friendly with other pets. They do need a lot of exercise, although even more so than some other large breeds. 
try to locate the nearest park to exercise your Afghan hound because a walk is not enough for spending this breed's energy. Afghan hounds are difficult to train and housebreak. You have to train them kindly and calmly but firm. With patience and perseverance, though, they can be obedient and eager to please dogs that'll love to share your space with you whatever size it is. There you have it. It was a short list, so let us know in the comments which dogs you think should have been included. Please help us spread interesting dog information by subscribing and giving us a like. Thank you for watching.